This video illustrates how to create a new group in VoiceThread. Groups are a great way to um, share content with students. I always create a group for my class and share my class-oriented voice threads with that group. Um, students join the group and the reason for doing that is because the voice threads I share with that group are completely secure and only the students who have joined the group are able to actually have access to those voice threads. So let me give you an example. If I have a voice voice thread that I've shared with a class group and only my students have joined that group um, and one of my students, let's say a student named Susan, grabs the link for a voice thread and emails it off to her friend named Kathy. If Kathy clicks on that link and opens it up, she's going to see a message that says, sorry, you don't have permission to view this voice thread and that's how it works. So it's a really great way to keep online content completely secure and only visible to your students, which is can sometimes really be an issue with student privacy when you're using web-based tools. So this is how you set up a group and um, make it really easy for students to share. It's, it's very simple. You don't have to deal with email addresses, which is my favorite part. I'm here in voicethread.com and I'm signed into my account and you can see that because my email address is up in the right corner there. At the bottom of the screen, I'm going to click on the Groups and Contacts link. And this uh, window will pop up. And over on the left, under Orgs and Groups, I want to click on New. And it'll say Create a New Group. That's where I want to click. I'm going to call this, I'm going to give this a name. Okay, and save it. And that's it. I've created my group. And this is the best part. All I need to do to invite people to join this group is click copy the link. And now the link to join that group has been copied to my clipboard. So all I need to do is take that link and put it in my course management system so that my students can come in on an authenticate in the course management system and click on that link. And then once they click on that link, I'm going to show you what happens. Okay, I'm not going to actually put it in my course management system now just to save time, but I'm going to sign out of my account. So I'm no longer signed in. So let's say that I'm now a student and I've gone to this link. So let's just pretend I've clicked on it in a course management system and I've gone to that join link. And this is the page they're going to see. It says join a group. And so what it's going to prompt them to do is to either sign in or register. So let's say that this is a, a brand new student at the beginning of a class and this student may already have a VoiceThread account. Maybe they took a class the previous term and they used VoiceThread in another class. Well, they can then just sign into their existing VoiceThread account or if they've never used VoiceThread, this is where they would register for one. So what I also love about the group process is that it packages the creating an account right into the joining a group all in one step. So it makes it even easier for you as, a, uh, as an instructor. So I'm a student. Okay, so I need to sign in or register. So I'm going to click there. And here it says sign into your account. It's, it's recognizing that I have an account, but if I didn't, I would just go over here to the right and click on register. And then that's where I would create my account. And after I registered, I would automatically be a member. And so that's the process. It's very, very simple. You click on a link and you either register for your account or you sign into your existing one and you're automatically a member. And then from there, all students would do is, um, they could either access the voice threads that you embed in your course management system as long as they're signed into their voice thread account they could see those and interact right there in your course management system don't need to leave your course management system to sign in though they can sign in through the voice thread itself or they could access the voice threads through their my voice page or they could use the free mobile app on an iPhone or an iPad and soon to also be available on Android devices um, and interact that way with the content. So I hope that's helpful.